Hello friends, it's Mr. C. Now time for another music theory lesson just for you guys. Okay, so last time we went over using sharps to figure out key signatures and knowing what a sharp does, okay? If you recall, our sharps, which looks like a hashtag, a, a, a pound sign, a number sign, okay? In music, when they're used, they're used and placed in front of a note, they raise the note up or the natural note up by a half a step, if you recall. By the way, just in case I forgot, uh, which I did, <laughs> please make sure that you have your manuscript book with you and a pencil to write with, okay? Have your your, your music manuscript paper without out, out, out and ready to go, okay? So, in any event, moving on. So the sharps, again, they look like a number sign or a hashtag, okay? You put it, in, you put it on the left side of a note and it raises that natural note by a half step. Today, we're going over our flats, okay? Flats. And the flats look just like this. Not necessarily with the parentheses, but we're gonna see a bunch of these, these uh, fancy looking lowercase b's. What's the difference though? Um, in a lowercase b, a regular lowercase b would kind of be written kind of like this, with a with, with kind of a regular loop, okay? Or, or, or for lack thereof that I did just now, okay? But notice how it kind of slants. Just like that, okay? It sort of it sort of comes down, right? With that one line, and then it slants upward, okay? So that's really the difference when it comes to that in a lowercase b. But right away, you might see it, and it might remind you of a lowercase b. But you put this on the left side of a note. So for instance, I have a whole note D right now. I have a whole note D, okay? That is a D note because in the space below the treble clef staff, you have your D. We also learned that the ledger line would be a middle C, okay? That would be a middle C, all right? But I wanted to show you really more uh, more to the fact that here's, a, here's our D. So it'd be the, the middle C would be there. You go up a step into the space below the treble clef. That is our regular D, okay? Now a regular D, using my pitch pipe here, a regular D would sound like this. That's a regular... That's the actual note below the treble clef staff. That's what a D sounds like. However, if we added a flat on the very left side, okay, not my best handwriting, but on the very left side of that ver of that D, okay, that means we what? We lower the note by a half step. So once we put that, it becomes what? D flat. And you would actually identify it as D flat. Okay, you would identify it as a D flat, not a D, which is different from the natural D. Okay, here is a D flat. Notice that it actually sounded much lower. So you have your, your regular D natural. And here comes the D flat. Hear the difference? Once you add a flat, you lower that note by a half step. Okay, all right, but we're going to erase this because now we're going to get into the key signatures again, okay? Reading key signatures. Just like you guys learned on how to read key signatures using sharps, there are different key signatures in songs that uses the flats. Up to seven flats, that's it, just seven flats, and they are strategically placed, so you know, okay? So, let's get right to it. And learning how to read the, the flats, okay? So we start actually differently over here. We actually start in the middle line, which is our B actually. It happens to be a B. And when you and once you play uh, place a key signature as a single flat on the B line, that any note right there would become a B flat. Okay? That would be a B flat. But that doesn't mean that the key signature that we're in of that song is called the key of B flat. Remember with the sharps, we had to take the last, the rule was we took the last or only sharp and go up a step, right? The difference is here is now we're gonna take the last or only flat and go down one, two, three, four steps. We go down four steps to tell us what key we're in, what the name of that key signature is for that particular song. And again, so you guys understand, the key signature is always, is always placed 
okay, the group, like one flat or a group of flats, is always placed at the beginning of a song right next to the clef, whether it's treble clef, bass clef, what have you, it is right there on the left side at the beginning of a song, and of course we read everything from left to right. Also bearing in mind, when I start adding in the other flats, it's going to angle off in different directions going towards the, towards the right. Okay, it's going to angle off that way, whether it's going up, angling up, or whether we're angling down, it's going towards the right. So because, again, we read everything from left to right. So, again, last or only flat, we go down four steps from wherever that flat is. Okay, in this case, we're only dealing with the one with the first flat right now. Okay. So that flat, we're going to count the very, the very line, that, that B flat line, where it actually is, okay? So when we count down four steps, again, we're counting downward, we're going to go, we we'll count the B flat as one, the line is one, the space is two, the line is three, and that space as four, which tells us right there, which tells us what note is that? That is an F. Right. If you recall how we read our spaces, it's in the space between the two lines. OK, we use the word we use the word face that we spell and we go F A C E. Right. That's an F. OK. And in the key of F. In the key of F, there is a B flat. All of the other notes, OK, are natural notes. F. G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, E, sorry, E, F, okay? So the only flat that we have in the key of F is our B flat. That's it. So that's how we know that we are actually in the key of F. That's how we tell that with when it comes to the only flat there. Now, we are going to add, we're going to add now two flat. There has to be a second flat, right? Another key signature using two flats. We start again, we copy that, that first flat in the B line, right? And from there, we're gonna count, from there, we're actually going to count uh, some steps up, okay? One, two, three, four, actually four steps. So remember that, we're counting up four steps to place the other flat where that belongs, okay? All right, so there it is. So. From that first flat that starts off on the third line of the of the treble clef staff, we're counting up four steps. So we're gonna write, please write this up, up four to place the second flat. This is to place the second flat. Okay. Now take a look. We have a B flat. What is the letter name of that next next flat that's up there? Okay. Well, it's in a space. Notice how the loop here. I know the line crosses over the line, but we're really looking at the loop there which happens to be in between the two lines there, making it a space note. So if we're, if we're gonna use our spaces, right? Oh, by the way, coming back, let me just backtrack. We, we know that this is B flat because we use our lines formula. Every good boy, boy, B, B flat. That is our B flat. So every good boy, B flat. But now this one's in a space. We're going to spell the word face, F-A-C-E. Therefore, whatever key signature this is, we know that it has a B flat and an E flat. Okay? But the question is, what is the name of that key signature? What is the name of that key signature? Well, remember the rule. We count down four steps from the last or only flat. So take the last or only flat and count down four steps where you are. Well, we kind of did that already. Notice that we counted up from going back to the B flat. Uh, 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 accidental. Uh, we went up four steps, so it's safe to say that if we count down four steps from the space, one, two, one is the space, two is the line, three is the space, four is the line, that means we're in the key of B flat. Okay, let me do my quotes there a little better. <laughs> okay. We're in the key of B flat, okay? B flat, that is our flat sign. We're in the key of B flat. How do, and again, how do we know? We counted down four steps from where that was and landed on the B flat line, okay? Just like we counted out with just the only one, line one, space two, line three, four, space. That was our F natural. We know it's not F flat because there's no flat sign on that space. 
or even on this top line every good boy does fine there's no flat sign there there's only a flat sign on the B flat therefore we're in the key of F but here there happens to be a flat sign on that B line counting down four steps so therefore we are in the key of B flat and in the key of B flat you have of course the name namesake B flat and an E flat just two flats where the rest of the notes in that scale, the rest of, no, the rest of the notes of that key signature are all natural notes. Okay? And again, we have to go up four steps. Notice I also remember, like I said before, we were going to angle off going to the right. So we started on the very far left. We angled off to the right. When you're positioning these, please do not pile them on top of each other. Do not line them up on top of each other. Just the same as I said with the sharps. We want to angle off. Okay, when we're adding other flats we, uh, for a, a different key signature, we want to angle off always going to the right. from the, So we read everything from left to right. All right, so we got two flats and we got to add a third one. So here we go. First flat, okay. The next flat is right there on the E flat, right? And then from there, watch this, we count. From there, we're going to count downward. We're going to go downward and we're going to angle off to the right. We're going to count the space that it's in one, line two, space three, line four, space five. Okay? We'll stop right there. Okay? You're going to add a flat in that space. Okay? So over here, we're actually counting down what? Five spaces. Okay? Make sure you put a down arrow of five spaces to know that for the third flat, we're going to do five spaces down from where the last flat is okay from, uh, from before anyway from before anyway but in this key signature this key signature has three flats whatever the name of it is we have a b flat we have an e flat and then look at the, it's in that space in that second space from the bottom we use our spaces formula f a that means we have an a flat in this key signature but again that is not the name of the flat that is not the name of the key signature we have to, again, what's the rule with our flats? Take the last or only flat and count down four, uh, four steps. Count four steps. So from here, from our last flat, which is our A flat, okay, we're going to count down four steps, counting the actual A flat space. One in the space, two is the line, three is the space, four is the line, four, and it's the bottom line if we use our, our, our formula, our lines formula, we're going to go every good boy does fine, every, every. So that means we're in the key of E. Are we in the key of E? Not so. Remember in the sharps, the sharps, there was a key of E. But how can flats also be the key of E? Guess what? It's not. Why? Because let's review what we have in our key signature. We again have a B flat. We have the A flat that we just put in, but up top, what do we got? In the E space, F A C E, we have an E flat. So that means because the key signature notates that we have a flat in the E space up at, up at the top, just because, just because we counted down from our A flat down to the E line, doesn't mean that this also isn't recognized as the E. This is an E flat. So even though there's no flat on the E line down here, there's still a flat on the E space up top. That means we recognize that. We label it as E, the key of E flat. Okay? That is the key of E flat using three flats. And again, they're strategically placed where we start off with the third line. From the third line, we go up four steps. From the and then from the from the top step from the top space, we go down five steps. So it's up four, down five. Okay? That's how we keep going. So now, that's the key of E flat, three flats in their, in their strategic spots. We're going to now copy those three. Okay, so copy. I hope you guys are copying these along, by the way. Okay, make sure you're writing these, this down. Okay, B flat. We have our E flat. We have our A flat. Okay, now guess what? We're going to have to go to add the fourth flat of the next key signature. We're going to have to go one, count... Count from the last flat here that we just did from previous. Count, count up some steps. Here we go. Using the space. One. Line is two. Space is three. And then line is four. And we'll stop right there. That means we're going to go up four spaces and add a flat on that line. Okay? 
So there we have, we have that flat on that line, four, four flats, okay? So basically what did we do? From the third, from the third, we went up another four steps, okay? So put an up arrow, four steps. We counted up four steps, all right, guys? So we counted up four steps to add in the fourth flat on that fourth, one, two, three, fourth line up, okay? Line note, notice how the line crosses the loop of that flat sign, right? Okay, same thing here. I think I could write this a little bit better. Okay, make sure we, we know this is on the third line, and the third line is crossing, just like the others, the third line is crossing that first flat, okay? Notice how it angles off. Again, it angles off to the right, okay, as we're going along, okay? And now we have a fourth flat. What is the letter name of that last flat there? Use our lines, lines formula. Every good boy does, does. Therefore, that's a D flat. But uh, yet again, it is not the key of D flat. We can't call it the key of D flat because that is not the rule when we're reading or when we're identifying the key signature. We have to count down four steps from that D flat. So from that D flat, we count down four steps. We count one on the line, two in the space, three in the line, four in the space. We're really kind of going back to what? That's our A flat. We know that it's an A. Again, it's not a regular A because we've seen the key of A in the sharps, okay? Using flats, we are in the key of A flat. And we know this because it lands on that very space from the D flat, counting down four steps, okay? From the last flat, which is our D flat, we count down four steps, we end up on the space where there's a flat sign on the A space, right? F A, it's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a flat sign on it. Therefore, we identify it as the key of A flat, all right? Okay, so we're in the key of A flat over here. Now we're gonna move on to the next one. Here we go, the next one. We're gonna use our first flat, B flat. We're gonna go up to our E, um, yes, our E flat, okay? Come down to our A flat, okay? We're going up to, to our D flat, okay? And now we have to, from there, go down another five steps, okay? We're going to count down five steps from the la from the previous flat, which is our D flat, okay? Count down five steps from there, you, uh, from the actual line. And we count. One is the line. Two is the space. Three is the line. Four is the space. Five. We're putting down our fifth, our fifth flat, counting actually down five steps. Put it down arrow and five, okay? We have our five flats. We counted down five steps, so again, it goes up four, down five, up four, down five, to the fifth, to, to, the, um, to the five flats that we're gonna do and figure and identify the key signature. And there we have, what is that line? Look, look, or, or notice, I should say, the last flat is on the second line from the bottom. So we use our lines formula to identify that flat. Every good, that's a G flat. G flat, because it has a flat sign on that line, okay? But yet again, that is not the name of the key signature. The name of the key signature is determined by taking the last flat and counting down four steps. That is the rule. Please remember, take the last or only flat and count down four steps to identify the key signature. So from there, we count from that line. Line is one, space is two, line is three, space below, okay, below the treble clef staff is four. And if we remember what the space below the treble clef staff is, it is a D, okay? It is a D. However, does that mean we're in the key of D? No, because in sharps, in the sharp, with the sharps key signature, the key of D has two sharps. These are flats. Wait a minute. Do we have a D flat within the key signature? Let's take a look. Every good boy does, right? That's what we looked at previously. There's our... D flat. So we are in the key of D flat, guys. Okay? Why? Because there is a flat sign within the key signature. Okay? Just because we went down here and there's no flat sign there, but there's a flat sign on that D line. And so if this is D and this is D, still it is notated as D flat simply because the flat sign is there. Okay? And we went down five steps to add the fifth flat there counting down from our G flat down to our D space, identifying this five flats in the way it's positioned as the key of D flat.
all right moving on everybody we're on this other staff okay i'm sure you have a you you know in your manuscript paper you have a lot more there okay you have a lot more space there but we're going to now i'm going to use this bottom set of uh, staff lines we have our b flat okay we have our e flat we have our uh let me do that Ugh. i don't know why i keep missing the line all of a sudden okay but gotta get that you know what <laughs> hey this is why we have pencils right well i have chalk but this is why we have pencils with erasers when we make a mistake we can just we can just fix it right we can erase it and fix it okay so we have our b flat e flat a flat d flat g flat okay i'm gonna do that one a little better in fact, I'm just going to get rid of this small piece of chalk. Go for the bigger one. Okay. We have our fifth flat. And we already had five flats over here. But now we got to get a sixth one, right? So, so far we went to add the second flat. We went up four. Then the third flat, down five. Fourth flat, up four steps. Okay. Uh, to, to the fifth flat, we, get, we went down five steps. Okay. Of course, what are we going to do? We're going to go up four steps. Okay, that's what we're going to do there. So counting from that bottom line, that G flat line, count up four steps. We count the line as one. Up to the space is two. Up to the next line is three. Up to the space is four. Okay, like I said, we're going to go up four steps. Okay, this is again different from with the sharps. Okay, this is a different set of um, uh, positioning when it comes to the flat signs uh, key signature. So now we have our six flats. Our six flats going up four steps, okay? Let's add in that arrow, up four, okay? Okay, and now we have six flats. Our last flat, notice how it angles, we know this is the last one because it angles off, okay? To the right more, okay? Our last flat happens to be on a space between the two lines, the loop is between the two lines there. So we're going to use our spaces formula to figure out what letter name is that. Start with the bottom space. Spell out the word face. We go F-A-C. That's a C flat. C flat. So our last flat there is a C flat. However, however, it's just indicating to us that C flat happens to be part of that key signature, but it doesn't mean it's the name of the key signature. In this in, in, in this key signature, we have a C flat. Of course, we have a G flat. We have a... D flat, a, an A flat, an E flat, and a B flat. But what is the name of the key signature? We take the last or only flat, in this case the last one, count down four steps. So from there, in the space, space is one, line is two, space is three, line is four, and it take us right, takes us right back down to where? Our last flat there, which is absolutely on this exact line, and we are in the key of G flat. This is the key of G flat. Six flats strategically placed right where you see them. Okay? In the key of G flat, you have a B flat, an E flat, an A flat, a D flat, a G flat, of course, namesake, and our C and a C flat. Alright? So that's how that works. And now we are down to our seven flats. Seven flats, last key signature. Here we go. Everybody, let's recopy the six flats that we have there. Okay. Uh, next one is B flat, like I said, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and C flat. Okay. We went up four steps from that G flat to get that C flat. Now we're going to have to go down five steps. Five steps from the C flat counting the very space from there to add our seventh flat we're going to go one space two is line three is space four is line five space in that what space is that add that flat our seventh flat right there and what is the letter name of that last flat we do it's in it happens to be in the space between the two lines there that makes it a what an f right if we spelled out face right f a c e f we have an f flat there however as you know 
that is not the name of the key signature. We still have yet to count down four steps from this F, count downward to get to the, to the actual name of this key signature. So if we count down four steps, our space is one, line is two, space is three, and line, ledger line is four. What do we remember about the ledger line? It below the, the, the uh, treble clef, that makes it our middle C, right? Our middle C, but not only that, okay? It happens to be, not only is it just, it's not the key of C, because remember the key of C tells us that we have no sharps and no flats. Remember that rule? Okay, if we're in this key of C natural, we're in, we have no sharps, no flats. However, if we work, work our way back to this particular flat right over here, okay? in the what F A C space that has a flat in the C space meaning that guess what we are in the key of C flat because again every flat that's placed in this particular spots okay it's indicating to us that the that the whatever the key signature is those are what the notes are in the key signature therefore we're in the key of C flat okay uh, just kind of take I'm gonna take out this ledger line because I was just a so I could show you, okay, I'm gonna use, I'm, I'm smearing it really, okay. But that was just to show you that there that it counted down from the last flat to the ledger line below the staff, okay. But we're in the key of C flat, okay. And by the way, we did go one, two, three, four, five, down another five steps to get to that, to get to that F flat there, okay. Now, again, that is the name of the key signature, C flat. It is the key of C flat. And in the key of C flat, we have an F flat, we have a G flat, we have, an, we have a C flat, of course, namesake. We have our D flat, A flat, E flat, and B flat. All of those notes happen to be flats. All right, guys? And that is how we read our key signatures in flats. Remember the key rule again. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Okay. Remember the key rule. With when it comes to reading key signatures with flats, you take whatever group of it is. Okay. Or if it's just the one, you take the last. You take the last, or only flat, and from there you count down four steps from where it's located. Count down four steps. That is how you read key signatures with the flats. All right, my friends, and that, that is your lesson right there, okay? Make sure you have all of this down, okay? Make sure you copy. If I kind of covered it, you know, at some point, you know, of course, just go back, you know, rewind, go back, uh, go, go back a little bit in the video, and then make sure you get all of this, okay? Um, uh, and, of course, remember our, you know, how we place them. Down, uh, sorry, up four, down five, up four, down five, up four, down five. That's how we get to where we put place all of our flats and it always starts okay and the first one always starts in the third line there okay now um, make sure you do your assignment okay identifying all the different flat signs remember the rules and how you do how you how you create those key signatures with flats okay same the same as the sharps okay and remember the rules to identifying them okay and as always my friends I wish you happy practicing everyone take care and I'll see you next time in class. Bye.